Welcome back. Today we have for you a new video on how to remove the FRP lock for Samsung A5 2016. So let's jump right in. Start by connecting the phone to the internet because we are going to download some files later. And make sure you have a SIM card in the phone. As you can see, the phone is asking for the old Google account. So what we are going to do is connect the phone to the computer using the USB cable, then download and install an application called Realterm on the PC. The link will be down in the description. Now open the app and then go to the device manager and look for the modem port number. It should be listed under the modem tab. For us it's 75, for you it may be different. Now go back to the app and go to the port tab and change the port. You should find it in the list, but if it's not there, you can type it manually. Then press change, then open. If three green lights shows up in the right side, that means it's good. Now go to the send tab and enter this command to register the SIM on the network. Then the second command to dial the number 198. Now quickly switch to the phone and press message. From here, type google.com and send it. Then open the link. Now from the top press more, then open in browser. If you get this error, your request has been declined for security reasons. Keep watching this section, but if you don't, jump to the 3 minute 15 second mark. Press the attachment icon, then hold the location icon. Now go, now go data usage view app settings after the maps open it scroll to the about term and privacy term and privacy privacy policy now hold any text and choose assist now open chrome In the top bar, go to Rudjenki's download website. Now, navigate to apps. then FRP and download Google Account Manager 6 don't forget to allow download from Chrome when it's done downloading install it but before that you have to allow install from unknown sources Now go back and download the FRP Bypass APK and of course install it. After you open it, press the three dots from the top, then browser sign in. Now log in with any working Gmail account.
then it will load for a few seconds then it will close by itself that means it's done now go all the way back to the Wi-Fi screen and from there press next and then press next again it should say account added this means your account has been added successfully now press next and wait for it to complete the setup usually it takes about 5 minutes so I'm going to speed it up Now just follow the usual setup instructions the same way you set up a new device. And that's it. Now the lock is permanently removed. And the security patch is March 1st, 2017. Thank you for watching. Consider hitting that subscribe button and don't forget to check out the other tutorials.